Hey guys, this is Franco from IT and Cybersecurity Journey. First of all, I want to say thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Uh, I've seen that a lot of my videos have been blowing up lately, so I want to thank y'all for watching my videos. I'm glad that I've been, you know, been able to interact with some of y'all down in the comments, and that I've been able to just kind of add value to the community. Um, but anyways, just to get straight into the video, I passed my CompTIA Plus, as you can see here. We know we'll verify the badge real quick. So, uh, you know, as of April 3rd, uh, you'll be most likely watching this either on the 8th or the 9th. But uh, as, as of April 3rd, I'm certified. A plus certified. Um, really, it took me a little over, I want to say, three weeks, maybe a month um, to pass the exam. But in actual study time, it was probably about two weeks of actual study time. Um, as many of you guys know, you know, I'm working a job um, that I got thanks to the Course Careers Information Technology Professional course. Um, if it wasn't for that course, I would not be in the job that I'm in now, which is, you know, as a support technician. Um, and I want to say also that I would have not passed the A-plus as quick as I did if I was not working that job. Um, I have noticed that you know, when you use something in your day to day um, and you're learning it at the same time, you, the information just kind of clicks in your brain. Um, your brain is able to make the connections to the information way easier. And you're just, it's because you're using the information every day, you're retaining it that much better. So, my recommendation to anyone would be to try to do what I did, which is try to work a job where you will use the A. Plus. Because it does come in very handy. Now, you don't have to. Um, so first, what did I do? How did I pass the exam? So, as you can see here, I'm on Udemy. Um, just so you're aware, every single WGU student has access to Udemy business as part of the tuition. So, go to Udemy right now. Log in with your WGU email. It should be, you know, your first initial, last name, and dot .wgu, dot .edu. Log in to uh, Udemy with your WGU email. You'll be landing on a page like this. Use this, okay? Use this. I've been using this to learn how to code, Linux. I mean, this has every, every single course on Udemy is at your disposal. So there's no reason that should not, you should not be using this as a WGU student in the, uh, in the inf information technology uh, degrees. In any IT degree that you're doing, whether it's cloud computing, the software engineering, the cybersecurity, use this. Because you can use this while you're going to school to learn skills that will put you above other candidates. Most people graduating from the local colleges here that I go to don't, don't even know how to work Linux. This will put you ahead of them. Anyways, that's something for another time. So, what courses did I take? Well, if we go here. For the 1101, I did... And let's just look it up, because... For the 1101, I took Jason, De uh, Jason Dion's County A Plus Core 1 1101 Complete Course and Practice Exam. I didn't take any notes. No notes were taken, like at all. All I did is, is for an hour on my lunch break, an hour before school, sometimes an hour, or excuse me, an hour before work, sometimes an hour after work, um, I would watch an hour worth of videos. Um, double speed. I mean, I had to go through 25 hours of videos. And, you know, I would just watch them. Once I was done watching them, uh, since I w uh, then went on to take his practice exams. Depending on how I did on the practice exams, and I'll show you guys here, because um, I believe I should still be able to access it, and I can show you the past results. Um, so as you can see here, oh, this this is the old ones. I don't think this is showing my past attempts. Hold on. So let's see. This is for eleven o two. I don't know if it's going to show my past attempts, but I took I took almost every exam almost uh, two, three times. Um, and what I would do is, so for example, let's go to the practice exam number two. Let's go back to number one here. I use I took all of these. I don't know why it just shows I only took two. Um, on this one, it shows it properly. So you see here, I had three attempts. Um, 
this doesn't count because I quit midway through. But on my first attempt, my first actual attempt, I got a 68. I mean, I did horrible, guys. Okay, so don't definitely don't feel discouraged because I did. I definitely did. Uh, it only took me about 31 minutes. So what what would I do? Okay, if I, if I was having trouble understanding a topic, what I would do then is I would click on review questions, all questions, incorrect. I would copy and paste the um, questions into Anki, right? So you here, I have some of the test decks. Most of them are on my work computer, so I don't have access to the decks right now, right? Copy and paste. It even pastes the questions in here. So then I would copy and paste the correct question, paste it down here, erase this, um, which one was correct and which one was incorrect, obviously, so I don't know the answer. I would copy and paste the uh, explanation on the bottom along with the answer. So let's go ahead and do that. And um, I would just do that. You know, I would I would do the deck every single day, every single day at work during my break. I would I would do a little bit of the deck, um, and I just kept going. And I mean, as you can see here, right? Uh, this is attempt number two. On attempt number three, I got an 85. Um, now obviously that's not passing. That's passing per CompTIA standard, but per JSON Dion standard, I didn't pass. I was off by five percent, but I felt like I was ready. Uh, this is a little bit. Misinform this is misinformational because I actually used all six of these. It just it's not showing my past attempts uh, for these. Um, so that's what I did for the eleven oh one, and I think a big part of it to passing so quickly was thanks to my job. Now for the eleven oh two, I did change it uh, because Jason Dion's eleven oh two course is a little too long for me. I didn't want to sit through all of that. Um, I felt like I was kind of ready to take the exam because his was thirty six hours long. Um, so I went with uh, Andrew Ramadi Ramdial um, at T Education. His was only 13 total hours. I watched it literally that same weekend. The same week I finished the course, same weekend, uh, I took the exam. I want to say it was on a Saturday or a Sunday. I took it very late. Uh, it was like almost 8, and I passed. I passed with a 708. So I didn't do too good, but I passed. So that's what matters, right? Because the passing score on the 1102 is a 700. I passed by 8 points. But no one cares because as long, as long as you're certified, that's what matters, right? So that's what's moving you up in the WGE, WGU course of classes. So that's what I did. Um, and same thing, but with him, I watched his videos, but I went ahead and I took Jason, uh, Jason's uh, practice exams. So as you can see here, uh, I didn't even, for him, I did not take all of them. Um, I mean, as you can see here on practice test three, I only got a 67. Um... On um, practice test uh, two, I only got a 63, and on um, practice test one, a 72. All I did was for some of the for, for operational procedures, I went back and watched those videos because I felt like that's a little you got to be a little thorough with those videos. Um, but for the rest, most of it I was doing um, on the job. But whatever I got wrong, I mean, I I was just I literally right before the test I was doing Anki decks and Quizlet decks, um, and I'll show you the Quizlet decks right now, but. I mean, I have it right here. I have 33. Uh, I, I was reviewing 33 questions just right before the exam. Um, another good resource, which I suggest y'all look at, is, uh, let me see, Miranda Wallace. And I'll link all this below. It's right here. So I'm going to link this. This lady uh, is so kind. She put this out for everyone. Um, she has an 1101 and an 1102 uh, Quizlet flashcard decks, right? If you want, you can import these into Anki. It's up to you. I use some of these, uh, mostly in the 1102, not really on the 1101. I would say these are so these are so useful. You, I'll, I'll link these down. You gotta use these. Whatever you're not understanding, just you do these a couple times, um, and you'll get it down. So. That's how I passed, right? So just a review. Jason Dion for the 1101 watched pretty much his whole course, took his exams, whatever questions I got incorrect, made an Anki deck, reviewed the Anki deck, just went into the exam, and I did it. Uh, didn't think about it too much. 1102, Andrew Ramadile from Tia Education, right? As you can see, let me just go back.
right? So, Andrew Ramadal, I didn't feel like watching 36 hours worth of videos. I only did 13. Watch his videos. Use Jason's practice exams. Whatever questions I got wrong, Anki. Whatever questions uh, I didn't feel like making a deck for, I just went on Quizlet. Um, and another thing, just go in there with confidence. I will say this, people said that the exam was going to be really hard. There will be questions on there that you will have no damn clue what they are talking about. Um, and that's okay. Because some of the questions are in there. They throw some, you know, test questions in there that they're, you, you know, they're implementing. So, but just go in there with confidence. If you feel comfortable with at least half of the exam, you most likely passed. Um... It is, to me, it was not as hard as people make it out to seem. It's just really tedious because you have so much crap you got to learn. Um, so much you have to review. It's so many different things. But once you get it down, you know, and if you get lucky enough and you're able to use it in a job, you know, where you're able to, you know, kind of recall the information literally every second. Uh, every second I was working a ticket, I would recall the information. Um, that makes your life way easier. But yeah, that's how I passed, you know, um, those two classes. Uh, so the 1101 class and 1102 class for WGU. I'll definitely keep you guys updated for whenever I end up taking the, uh, right now I'm on Web Development, C779, Web Development F Foundations. Um, I have heard that this class is hard. I don't doubt it because it requires uh, web development. I think it's kind of dumb that we have to take a web development class, but at the end of the day, we want to learn about cross-site scripting attacks or uh, website worms. I guess it is kind of a necessary evil, right? SQL injection to websites, things like that. Um, I guess it is necessary to understand how a website works. So, yeah. But I mean, this is all I can. Uh, this is this is how I passed these two classes within a month. So, yeah, just guys, please like the video, subscribe, you guys have been doing awesome. I mean, I saw the videos shot up. I want to keep adding value to the community and help the WGU community. I want to help you guys be able to pass by kind of giving out how I did it. Um, and I know I linked another video, or I made, I created another video on how I passed A+, or how is my plan for passing A+. Plus. So I'll link that, that one down below, but I mean, I'm going to upload this one as well, just because... Um, in case some people might miss it, but yeah, those are the best tips I can give you guys. Um, watch troubleshooting videos. If you can't work a a IT job, watch troubleshooting videos. Maybe even set up your own ticketing system and do tickets on your own. Practice that stuff, man, because it makes recalling and remembering all of this information so much easier. Like, literally set up a ticketing system, use ServiceNow, because I'm pretty sure ServiceNow is free. There's other, there's so much crap on the internet. Look up a ticketing system, set up tickets for yourself that are relevant to the exam, whether it's printer issues, how to connect the printer to the network, uh, how to map a drive, how to map a printer. Just learn it. Um, give yourself challenges that you can, you know, kind of conquer. And, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you guys on the next one.